Well, I heard one of them, at least, or I heard perhaps the sound of a surface-to-air missile being fired by the Ukrainians to intercept one of these missiles. They are saying that they intercepted 15 that were targeting the Ukrainian capital. Fragments of one of them landed in the city. There was a small fire, but apart from that, according to Kiev City Hall, no significant damage and no casualties to report so far. Sometimes these kinds of um, messages that we get in the morning evolve in a negative direction direction over the course of the day as it's discovered that in fact there was some damage but for the moment it's a hundred percent success rate for the Ukrainian air defense systems who say that they think that the drones that were sent over yesterday 35 of them perhaps were aiming above all to locate the air defense systems so that the missiles that Russia was planning to send the next day would have a better chance of avoiding being shot down that tactic doesn't seem to have worked. Gulliver, how do Ukrainians, meanwhile, see the military raid that we're still preparing for uh, in Moscow uh, this Tuesday? Well, Ukrainians are always nervous uh, about the 9th of May for years now since Russian aggression started in 2014 because they're well aware that Putin is fond of symbolic dates and there's always a lot of speculation in Ukraine about what Putin might want to do for the 9th of May, what he might announce, what kind of attacks there might be on Ukrainian targets. At the moment though, after last year's 9th of May was expected with a great deal of fear in Ukraine and passed off without major incident. Today, what people are really looking at is the possibility that Putin might want to announce having taken full control of the city of Bakhmut in Donetsk region in the east of the country. Ukrainian armed forces have actually been losing ground pretty much every day in Bakhmut, but they haven't lost the whole of the city. They still control a small part of it and they still have access to it, albeit on a road that is extremely dangerous. Ukrainian soldiers who've been talking to my colleagues from uh, France 24's Spanish channel say that the situation in Bakhmut's very, very difficult. They described this access road as Russian roulette and said that they did think that it was more likely than not that Ukraine would end up withdrawing from the city and then trying to defend, prevent the Russians moving forward to Kramatorsk or Slavyansk from high ground just outside Bakhmut. It doesn't seem like the Russians would have very much chance of advancing any further once they take Bakhmut. And I think that if Ukraine manages to make it such that Vladimir Putin can't even announce having taken Bakhmut by the 9th of May, after a lot of people thought that Ukraine would lose control of the city before this other anniversary, the 24th of February, the anniversary of the start of the full-scale invasion, if they manage to hold on to at least part of Bakhmut beyond the 9th of May, depriving Putin of that tiny symbolic victory even, I think the Ukrainians will call the defence of Bakhmut a success even if they end up withdrawing.